Welcome back, YouTube. I know it's been a little bit, but your girls gotta do things. Now I'm back because I've been thinking about this. Anybody that's purchasing a Tesla, you know, it could come in handy. It can come in handy in all cars, but we're gonna talk about EV uh, cars. So, you know, what to do in the winter. Um, just overall enjoy most of your range. Okay? So, when you're first buying a Tesla, you want to familiar yourself with this screen. All the buttons down here, touch the car symbol. Each one of these you want to go through. Just open them up, familiar yourself with what's in there. So, Controls, it brings you up for your lights, your front, trunk, vent, yeah, um, your pedal and steering, you can set all that. In the winter time, you want to set that down to low. So, uh, you know, less skid. And then uh, put slip start on, you know, to help you. And, yeah, you always, it's best to put that in range mode, you know, conserving. Um, charging, set it to like 80%. Otherwise, on a trip, you go up to 90 or 100. Um, autopilot, you want to use that, whether you're taking a little bit long trip, long trip. I use it quite a bit whenever I can, and... It helps tremendously with my range. Like I notice a difference from me just using a pedal or cruise control on it. Um, yep, and all these you can set whether you want the. Uh, I got the the Model S, so presenting the door handles or not. Um, all that. Lights, you can set them how you want your lights. Display. And another thing that helps, I think, with the 12 volt battery and all that, is your brightness. Your brightness of the screen. See? That would use, you know, battery. I always set it down to like between 10 to 20 percent, you know. Energy saving mode. Um, you can have that on. I was having on most of the time. I'm leaving it off for a little bit now. And if you're going to a different country at times, like you've seen in some of my videos, if you did, right is right down here. You scroll the screen up right down near the distance. You can switch it to kilometers. And you can switch temperature. You can switch temperature. Trips. I don't ever mess with that. Maybe I should one day. Here's for your navigation. You can avoid tolls, ferries. You can use HLV lanes. I don't really mind about that. Here's your safety. Where well, you got Joe mode. Joe mode is, um, I always forget. It reduces the volume of your car's chimes. The quieter chimes continue to alert the driver effectively and minimize disruption to passengers in the rear seats. I like that. You, got, you can do a glove box pin, passive entry, you know. There's their service. Everything about the car. And upgrades. So, first thing I want to talk about is like about, you know, 10 things to do to serve your energy while enjoying your EV. And some things you can do regardless, gas car or EV. First things first, we all know. Maintain tire pressure. Now, I got a little, a little machine. It charges up and you set the tire pressure. I could do it right at my house before I leave. Um, you know, just do that every once a month. You're good to go. Just checking it. It won't hurt to check. Because, you know, over time, cold air and over time, it, uh, tire pressure is loose air um and 
So that's one thing you want to maintain. Um, is yeah, maintain your tire pressure. And whenever you can, you're going, your road is straight for a while, you know, you're not on a windy road or not, not too many stop signs, stop lights, is use your cruise control. Um, your vents, your, your vents for AC and heat. Um, I say put it at like four or below. Don't blast it. Cause I noticed a difference when I put it on four at the most and just, you know, let the air just flow in. I noticed a difference with energy with that. And, uh, when you're driving, either keep to the speed limit and like a little bit b below. If you're not in a hurry, you're just cruising it, just a little bit below the speed limit makes a difference as if you're doing five miles over or the speed limit. I did notice that. Um, another thing is uh, don't just punch the accelerator, like ease into the accelerator. And that does help. I did notice that. It's the way you use the pedals. Same way with the brake. Uh, hitting the brake hard uses energy as opposed to uh, pushing lightly, you know, easing into the brake. Um, or, you know, either easing into the brake or try and use that uh, regenerative braking. Um, Regenerative braking is very, very helpful. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, lessen the cars. Uh, don't put, you know, too much weight in the trunk. trunk. Um, just only if you're traveling, I say, you know, of course you got to pile up on your car, but everyday use, just try to take those things out if you don't need them because less weight in the car helps. Um, also, like, in the hot days, uh, rolling down your windows creates a drag. And the same for using your AC. If you're going to use your AC, put on, like, three or four. Um, that also helps. So, you know, yeah, don't roll your windows down. Try to, like, put the AC on, maybe, like, four at the max. That really helps. Um... You could try heating up your car, um, like defrosting it before you come out the house, or uh, navigate into a supercharger, because when you navigate, it heats up the battery to a supercharger. You could do that, or just heat up the car before you start out, you know, from your phone. That's always pretty handy. Um, and, an important thing. Charge every night at your house if you can. Uh, most people from their house, even if you're renting one, you can. Uh, the cord for the charger is long enough that you can just even put it through a window. And then you just park near your house and plug it in. It takes like a regular outlet. That even helps. It's a slow charger. People don't hate it. But it's better than having your car just sit there overnight. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, all these things, all these things I'm telling you, I've, I've done, I've tried, you know, and it's what worked best for me, so I want to share it with you. Um, so, you know, you can go try it out, see if I'm right, I'm wrong, let me know. Tell me if you have an EV, if you have a regular car, what you do. Because a lot, of, a lot of things with EVs and gas cars, I've had them both, and a lot of things are pretty much um the same like with a gas car if you use a lot of ac it uses gas the same with an ev you know the more you're using energy now so it's going to take from the car driving if you're using a lot of heat a lot of energy putting your windows down creates a drag takes it more, more energy you know so that's comparison right there um and if you can charge at home, and but you gotta park it outside, let me know what you guys do. That's what I do. I park outside and I charge at home. I don't have a garage. So let me 
know what you're doing, I can try it out. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's everything I wanted to uh, share with you guys. Hopefully it helps. I love helping people, you know, giving them something ideas. I'm thinking of another idea that I want to try out um, for this winter. For parking outside and charging at home. And if it works, I'll let you guys know. Um, until then, enjoy whatever you're driving. Enjoy your life. Keep smiling. God bless you. And I'll see you later.